Hello YouTube, this is Jaybert1992 once again for another LG Esteem by Metro PCS how-to video. In this video I'm going to show you two things. One that you can root the LG Esteem. I'm going to show you how and I'm also going to prove that it actually works. For starters, just so you know we're not wasting each other's time, Super User is there. And also when I run root check, Verify root access, super user access. Congratulations, you have root access. So, with that being said, the first step, what you need to do is you're going to need to hit your menu button, go into settings, you're going to want to scroll down until you get to applications, click on development. Click on USB debugging and then just hit OK on the message. OK, that's step one. And then now the next step on the phone is you want to go down to connectivity, hit default connection mode, and click internet connection. OK, now once you have that, you can hit the back button and get out of the menu. And now we're going to go over to the computer. Okay, at this point your phone should be already set up and now we're onto the computer. So first go ahead and go to google.com and type in LG Esteem one click root Android Invasion and go ahead and click Google search. Okay, now your first result that comes up with the website androidinvasion.us slash all of this stuff, go ahead and click that. Now the information right here gives credit to all the people that came up with this route. So after reading that, go ahead and click on download, which is right next to LG USB drivers. And a little box will pop up and you hit save file. Now the drivers let your phone be recognized by your computer. Now after you save that file, click on this Windows download file. And this is the root files. So go ahead and click save and OK. Okay, now you go to wherever you save them files, and first you're going to double click LG Esteem drivers. You're going to run that. I already have them installed, so I'm not going to run it. And then next, notice that the LG Esteem root is a zipped file. It has the little zipper on it. What you want to do is you want to right click, hit extract all, uncheck this show extracted files button, hit extract. It'll take a couple seconds. Okay, now you're going to click on the folder that doesn't have the zipper. You're going to click again, and now you're not going to click anything else right now. At this point, you're going to plug in your phone to your computer. Okay, this box might pop up. Go ahead and close this. Now, at this point, you might have to wait up to 90 seconds for your phone to be ready to use just like when you plug in a new flash drive and it has to install you know by itself and then it says ready to use it's the same exact thing so you just wait a few seconds um, when you go down here um, it'll tell you your device is ready to go okay actually right here installing device driver software so it'll it'll take just a second And since you have the drivers already installed, it, it, it'll automatically go in just a minute. In order... Oh, it's going. Okay, so it's obviously installing everything. Now I'm just going to get rid of this it's so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait until all of these say ready to use okay at that point once they're all set you're gonna double click run okay that's gonna open up a command prompt file that looks like this and it didn't pop up let me open it up
Okay, now since I've already done this, I don't need to do it a second time, but <clears throat> this just shows you LG Esteem root script, uh, press enter to root your phone, and then it does all of this stuff automatically. Now right here, it's a good go, man. That means it's rooted, installing root tools, which are your super user programs, etc. Cleaning up, your phone reboots, um, and then you press any key to exit. The whole process here takes about three minutes. It's really fast. So now that your phone's rooted, we're going to go back over to the phone view, and I'll show you what you can do with your phone. Okay, congratulations. You now have root access. Um, since you have root access now, I want to show you a couple of neat little applications um, that require root access. So first up is going to be root check. This just proves that you are rooted. Now you go to the market and you press or you type in root check um, and this will be one of the first ones. Um, congratulations, you have root access. Okay. Now set CPU is nice too because you can set how fast your processor runs so if you don't use your phone rarely and you want your processor to be bogged down um, whereas maybe you want it at 200 megahertz um, <laughs> 245 200 megahertz maybe when it's off and then when you do something it jumps up I mean there's a whole bunch of different options you can do and you can change them all um, that's sex CPU root explorer now this is nice because you can do two things one, with it. One, you can view all of your system files, including all the files on your SD card. Now this, when you click on SD card initially, that's the four gigabytes internal memory. Remember you have eight gigabytes, four are reserved for system processes, and then four are usable. Now if you want to get to your external SD card that you pop in, you click on external and then here's all the files on that one. Mine happens to be a 16 gigabyte. So, also, to view your system files, you can mess around in here. I wouldn't delete anything you're not 100% sure of, but if you go into System, and then App, here's a list of all the apps installed on your, um, your phone. Now, I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that you look online to see exactly what each app is because some of them have goofy names and it might sound like one thing and it's another because once you delete them, you can't get them back unless you... You don't want to go there. You have to do a whole bunch of stuff and with the phone being so new, I don't think it's possible to get these files again. So please make sure that it's a safe file to remove and look online before you remove something. Um, obviously, don't remove system files like messaging and all of that that's going to mess you up but I mean if desk home is probably safe to remove if you don't want that um, but once again make sure you're hundred percent sure it's safe to remove now once you get out of there obviously super user comes with it this just gives that extra permission um, and that's about it I mean there's a ton of apps in the store or the market um, that you can download for root users such as there's some applications that give you extra settings with your phone so you guys can just play around with it and um, once again this is jaybert1992 thanks for watching my videos I really appreciate it